Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to turn on window tag and door tag. By default, Archicad came with no door tag and no window tag. It's just like this, just plain, right? I'm going to click this and turn it off. So this is basically how it comes. Just plain window. The same thing with the door. Now, if you want to turn on door tag, all you need to do is go to the settings and come here and choose window marker click it and by default this is what we have so you have to set it to look like this but by default it has all the information right here but you have to set it to look like this we're going to do that right now go to the settings now haven't turned on the dot tag which is this right here you go to you just start going to the setting one by one right change the dimension to which is the marker size let's say five so you can see the cycle is smaller now and the text is two we can make it it is too big we can make it 1.5 so we can change the color of the marker to whatever we want and we go to the second settings, which is a um, marker symbol. Right, this is where we change the symbol of the marker. And we change it to, we have different shapes, right? And I always prefer, um, I think it this or this for the window. So I'm going to just shift this a little bit to have a look at what I used before. So uh, I think we used this hexagon. You can use this. I think I still prefer this. So it's, we have flip marker. You can flip the marker each side. We have um, extension line. I think this is the extension line. We are going to turn it off. We have dimension position. I think it's that is from this point to this point. And then we have marker position. I think it at the position at which the marker is. But I'm going to leave it for now say okay so we see the window tag which is this okay so you go ahead and click the window to continue the settings so i'm going we have removed this and i'm going to remove this and make it two and put this to zero and then seal distance Seal distance, put it to zero. And then we have, we say, okay. Okay, so we have um, this right here. You can always go back to the settings. And we say flip. Okay. We flip it and then we say, okay. It flips to the other side. Right, then we can always go back to the settings. And maybe change this to three for the marker position. As you can see, we have to turn off all this information. Okay, go back to the settings and just go to the settings like so. Show ID, element ID, that's what we want to show. This is what helps window schedule. So it's good to use element ID, change it to element ID. And then we say perpendicular to marker axis. Just leave it like that. Show seal, we turn it off. We don't want the seal to show, which is this information. We go next. Show dimension. As you can see, the dimensions are showing it's um, 900 by 750. So we turn it off. We don't want that to show. We go next to our settings like so. And then we're done. We say, OK. I want to shift this a little bit. You can actually shift it a little bit. So we can go back to the settings.
you can see i haven't shifted it you see the number it was 2.67 so let's just leave it at 2.5 and then we'll go back to marker text style you can change the text style if you want to but just leave it at this and the text size so maybe 1.3 and dimension of the marker size i don't know if 3.5 can work 3.5 so this is fine let's leave it this way okay so this is how to create marker for window you can always adjust to your satisfaction make it here or here anyone you want like so this is how to create marker for window i think i prefer this new one as it laps on the window on like this so we also do the same thing for door i'm going to turn this off right now when you turn it off it will go back to the default settings and turn it on again D marker then we go to your text style your text dimension like this for the window we had the uh, 3.5 3.5 let's use 3.5 okay and this we had 1.3 so this setting is going to be faster since we are conversant with the settings now and we have this we use this okay oval and we turn this off change this to 2.5 like we did for the window change this to zero okay go to next change this to element id show seal is turned off good show dimension should be turned off okay so we have um you go to class classification to actually see the id right which is d2 okay it's fine you can say d02 the same thing too we didn't do that for the window as you can see that's it right there you can actually shift it here or flip it let's go let's go and flip it Let's do the right thing. Let's flip it. Okay, so let's put it here. The same thing here for the window, for the window tag. You might be wondering where did you see, where did we see three? That's because I've already used W3 before, but you can always go to the classification and property to change it okay to change it and write what you want to write as you can see so it's not enough you can just use w3 or wo3 so it, whichever one you choose to use when you change it like this you have to reduce the text you have to reduce the text so that it will fit that's it. You have to reduce the text so that it will fit the same way you do this too. So we, as you can see, we chose oval shape, but it's not, it's still circular. So we are trying to make this an oval shape because we actually chose oval, which it is supposed to be an oval shape, but it is not showing as an oval shape. Now we have to, I've checked different settings. But I'm not seeing the option right here, but I suspect that it is this. So I'm going to say fit shape to text. Okay. And see what it gives us. As you can see, so we, we, we now have that oval shape coming out. So we can reduce this. As you can see. So that's it right there. So when you have something, some issues like that 
you have to just look at the settings and observe that when you go back to this right here and you say fit to shape okay instead of using this dimension you say fit to shape if you leave it at this it will go back to the circular shape or if you say fit to shape here it will maintain this oval shape I even get more over shape by still reducing the size you can see as you can see so i hope this helps so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye, -bye.